guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 7 and 8 of Koyomi Managatari. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Should we stay when I first? Ah, good song. Oh, I don't yay for damn it. I think a lot of people believe in this. Or did you see a ghost soon? Really? Next topic. Can you imagine if she really truly stopped him? <laughs> also, are you playing? With her hair like that, she looks like an older my way. Oh my god, my baby. I miss her so much. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't even have any proof about this stuff.
Honestly, I have no clue. I really don't even think your brother has anything for him. Exactly. Because what kind of advice can you give her about that? But well, of course he was. But like with what you're saying, what advice can he really give you, though? Oh Jesus! Well, you know, sometimes so you gotta be like right there to give the damn answer. Get that. Oh, my God. Please tell me you were just looking for one buck. No, you were looking for a whole bunch. Oh, my God. Come on, <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I feel like mm, we are not Hunger Games. <laughs> this is District 12. Sometimes it really isn't. But, oh, wait, 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 hold on. But you've lied to them before, sir. I mean, the countless times. They had to just to make her feel better. And sometimes you have to do that for someone. Especially with a kid. I mean, she's not like. Mm, oh, wait. Oh, wait. 
wait until we get to the credits to talk about that. I honestly want some tea now. Or just something to drink because I'm thirsty. Just literally walking out of this. <laughs> Good question. I mean, but this is a girl, she's like, they're both in like middle school. At least it's not like a little kid. And typically, sometimes when you have a vivid imagination, even at the age of in your 30s, especially when you have kids, because you have to have uh, imagination. I don't think anybody would have kids in their 30s, though, like mid 30s or 40s and such. But I mean, if she was technically. 10, maybe that would work, but I get the fact is that she seemed like she was the only one who was able to see it, and everybody's like, yeah, let's just go along with this, like, we can't see it, but she can. I mean, the biggest thing is, like, if this was something in real life, you know that, like, somebody would have been calling a priest, an investigator, um, with their team and everything, doing some summons of a ghost, going in there in the middle of the night, taking some pictures, so a camera, looking for some, <laughs> like, seeing if there's anything of paranormal as there, and they probably would have found it, and then maybe Sue would have been like, oh, well, there is nothing. <laughs> but I really like this one. I think I like this one more than Cotton's. Cotton's was, like, interesting, but this was, like, this one was funny, interesting at times. I mean, this is Sue we're talking about. She's literally, like, out of the two sisters, she's the best girl. I'm sorry. I don't know how many people are going to be pissed at me because I just said, like, Sue is my best girl and not Cotton out of the two <laughs> the sisters. I, I mean, it's like the day when I told everybody <laughs> when I watched God and Sue, but I did reactions on it. And everybody was, like, literally constantly wondering who the freak my best girl is going to be. Was it going to be Akko? Was it going to be Megarine? Or was it going to be Darkness? And I think I took six episodes or even the whole first season to figure out who my best girl was. And I was like, yeah, um, I'll tell you this. It ain't who you really think it's going to be. And so when I said Darkness, there were people who were like, yeah! And then there were ones who were just like, no, DJ, like, why are you doing this to yourself? Like, do you not know how OP and funny Megamine is? Like, don't get me wrong, I still love Megamine. If you've seen, like, especially, like, my finale on season two of Isekai Quartet and how I go a little more in depth on her. I mean, because Isekai Quartet made me love her a little bit more. And plus, I haven't really seen the movie yet, and I know a lot of people want me to, but yeah. But yeah, this episode was just, like, really something I needed for today. It was different. I liked the handle of it, the way of it, the flow was interesting. I, I loved the fact that it did focus on Sue because I love her and she's one of those characters that besides everyone else, there are times where she and her sister, they're not really truly in the series every single time because let's go back like an arc ago or even two and they may be in there once or twice or maybe even zero. You never really truly know, but this is what it's like for this series, even though I'm nowhere near done completing it yet, it's just there are times where some of the girls are going to get main focus, and then there are going to be some girls who are just going to get not as much, but yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay, episode 8 and 3, 2, 1, go. Question. This is one of the other episodes that I had to pay attention on, right? Because I really don't remember. <laughs> I have to, I would have to go back and look, um, in the comments, probably after when I'm done watching, uh, everything else that I gotta watch, and then I edit everything. Because I know the last two were 11 and 12, of course, but I think it was also 7, 8, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Mountain. Like Blue Mountain Coffee. <laughs> Maybe you should wait until you get all the way up there. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is really gross after you touch it. You're just like, mm -hmm. That's just me. I mean, I would say yes, but probably not as much as you think you probably have. Mm -hmm. Honestly, really, who knows? Because, see, I feel like we're getting back into the situation of what happened several arcs ago and naturally going to come to where, yes, Agaragi and friends are going to graduate.
Really? So precious. Yeah, so that you can have like new memories and everything for it instead of just like, okay, let's rebuild something and just have everything still be the same. No, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. I, I have that feeling. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so this is what I feel like is going to happen, and this is the reason, and it could also deal with 11 and 12, but we're going to know it till I watch this too. In this next arc, we're, we're going to go back to the point where we're getting, I think it's like, what, a couple of months before they graduate, because let's go back to the episode where, like, Combiter was the main focus, or no, it was the arc that Combiter was the main focus before this season. Um, and we saw Agaragi older, longer hair, in college. And I had so many questions about that. And I was like, okay, so are we ever truly really going to see his last couple of months of being in high school before he graduates? And then the stuff that happened there. And so I'm guessing with this episode, I'm also 7 and then 11 and 12. And then whatever other one I have to rewatch again before I go into the next part. Has to all deal with that situation. Because, like, they, they kind of, in my opinion, put the um, Sengoku-ish under the rug and it's just like, hmm, we're gonna wait and we're gonna kind of stretch that out. Like, with the way with that preview trailer thing that happened, like, months ago and I was like, oh, okay, this is exactly how it's probably gonna happen. And everybody was like, can't really say anything about that. And I still, like, believe it a little bit and not as much, but still, I have a lot of questions on it. And the way Sengoku, when she was moving her face and, like, her eyes were red and that could still significant, like, symbolize the snake and everything that's possibly still inside her. Even though they got rid of it, but it's just, I feel like it is going to come back. We're going to take, like, um, 
<laughs> we're gonna go like back into the past to just get to that part to end that story and to whatever the heck is gonna have possibly happen next but like that's what it just feels like with this episode alone by itself but when it whenever i get to 11 and 12 which will be officially not next week but the week after that's how maybe i'll get my answers a little bit more on what this next season could be about because officially as of right now this is the only thing that i can like literally say 100 percent they're probably going to talk about this and the situation that the fact is he's going to have to use the stuff that guy gave him for her because that snake is coming back i mean it's a snake a snake won't come back no matter what you never trust a snake at the end of the day except with certain things no matter what just you don't trust the snake you just exit states left but yeah other than that, guys, that was my reaction to you towards episode 7 and 8 of Goyomi Managatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for Patreon. No. Wrong. Next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.